Hello, I'm Buda Fem and welcome to episode 22 of my Manchester Central um, series. Manchester Central, Manchester's 13 that nobody knew about. I'm absolutely loving this club and I have so much fun with this uh, young team of mine. Although, I can't say we're awesome. I can't say form's been out of this world amazing. You'll see for yourself in a minute. Um, we had a lot of games to get through. There's been a couple of extra games. Cup games have been added onto that as well. So we've probably got like two episodes worth of um, games to get through. So I'm going to try and do it quite quickly. Um, weekend, hopefully, you're all getting set for New Year. Um, New Year will be tonight. So yeah, hopefully have a good one. Don't get too drunk. Do you know what I mean? I won't be. Like I said, I'll probably be in bed for nine o'clock because I can't be bothered with it. Um, but yeah, anyway, loads to get through. And we've got a massive game today against Colchester. Let's get started. Right, so we've got 11 games. This is the first one. We played at home to Carlisle. Typical Manchester Central game. It was 4-2. Uh, Talbot, Moran scoring, Dalton scoring. So that was brilliant, really. Only three main strikers all bagging goals. Next up was the FA Cup first round and we played Northampton. Ollie plays, good friend of mine. Um, I'll put a link down below to his channel. Um, got a great series in Manchester City, but it's not a normal Manchester City series. It's uh, got a good twist on it. He's, um, the owners have changed. I think it's an old British owner. They can only sign British players. It's good, should check it out. Last game in the group stages um, of the EFL trophy, whatever it is, and a B team did and I think it was a mixture of a B team and the fact that we'd already qualified because it was just meh. Next up was Accrington Stanley. Who were they? Uh, yeah, 1-1 one, one, away from home. Drop points, I think. I think we should have won this, I'll be honest. Next up, great victory really. one nils. I'll take them all day long because you get your three points, you keep a clean sheet and you can move on. So I was happy with this. I'm happy with any kind of clean sheet, but again, stat-wise, very even. A lot of these games we're playing, statistically, are even. Next up, an away trip to Barnet, um, and this one wasn't statistically even. We should have won this. I don't know, we didn't. Jakey Bird was fantastic in the middle of the park. Um, but I don't know, we should have won it. Next, Robbie Williams. Remember him, the singer from Take That? I think he's on the board at Port Vale in real life. He's a Port Vale fan. Um, yeah, great victory, 2-0. Uh, this good known goal and Tommy T. I love Tommy T. Next, we're off to the races um, to Cheltenham. Got to play in the Bumblebee kit. I love this kit. Our third kit. Um, and we scraped a victory here, to be fair. Again, another game that was statistically quite close. Uh, Jakey Bird got us a goal in the first half. Unlike Liverpool, I didn't really know many of their players. Straight away, I knew some of these young City players. Sisto, of course I know him, because if you, if you watch my Boot in the Hood Huddersfield series, Sisto was one of my players for ages. Well, Sisto, 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 tour was a new one. Then we played Stevenage away. Uh, not too far from Luton, is it, Stevenage? I think it's quite close. And they're next to each other. Um, not a very old club alley either. Um, and it was 2 2. Can't lie. I thought we were going to get beat. But Lewis Jones, my young striker, Lewis Jones, saved the day and got man of the match. God, I love that kid. I don't know why, but that black and green, I like it a lot. Um, and to be fair, I don't know how we won this. Dean Moran got us a goal, but I don't know how we won this. And at this stage and all, we're starting to get tired and I'm struggling with fitness. And I think we've played a lot of games recently and it's starting to catch up and we're, we're dropping points, but you know, another one nil victory. Yeah, really, really helps. Let's have a look at the league table. So here is the Skybet League 2 and we are still top of the league. Um, we've, play, we've played 22, so we won 14, drawn, drawn 6 and lost 2. Um, we're now 4 points clear of Bristol Rovers who are now battling out with us. Swindon a 3rd, Cambridge have just gone. Uh, you've got Accrington, Peterborough and Crewe also in the playoff hunt. Colchester, who we played today, have dropped out of the playoffs, but they're still in 8th. They're still a good team, so it's still going to be hard today, away from home. Um, Tommy T is 3rd on the goal scoring charts. Uh, Dean Moran is still the best player in the league. First bit of news, and we've had some awards, um, and Dean Moran scooped Young Player of the Month award, and that was it. I mean, previous seasons when we were non-league, we used to dominate the player awards, young and normal player and manager. I've only had, I came second in the first month, second, and since then I've not, I've not even been in the top three, which is weird because I'm top of the league, and I know form's not. Super consistent. I'm not like gone on a 10 match winning streak, but I've 
if we're top of the league, I still thought I'd be picking up points, you know what I mean? But Now, like I said about Foreman being world-class, 16-year-old um, top player. Did he the champs? Was it one of the games recently? Um, the last game. Watching him. Watching him and Lynchy. Apparently, he's right, also, uh, Hussey's come to me. He's not happy. He's not been playing at all. Um, he's my famous gay winger. He came out as gay, didn't he, quite early on in the season, in the series, but... That's not why I'm not playing him. He's just not good enough anymore. He's good. He's a backup. I like. I leave my own scout to do his own thing. And let him try and find me players. But I also do a lot myself. Um, and at the minute, I've got this current list. Um, it's arranged by ability, and everyone's potential is massive. Do you know what I mean? Apart from these, maybe. But there's some good players in here. And there's this lad here, who plays at Leighton Orient in the Vamarama National. He's Kosovan, and I am potentially thinking about putting a bid in for him. He's only worth 61 grand. Right, let's have a check in with the dynamics, eh? And looked at this for a bit myself. Obviously, I'm at the top. I should be. Um, Dalton's still the team leader. He should be. He's still a legend of the club. Uh, you've got Platt, Hussey. This is what I'm worried about. Hussey getting a bit miffed. He is a highly influential player. Lawton's not been playing either. The uh, rest of the guys are all first teamers. Let's have a look at the social groups. Right, so Corker's obviously new. Talbot's new. I thought Talbot might have integrated better. I thought he might do. The core group though is these boys. Where's Hussey? Where's Hussey? Is he down here now? Yeah. That's alright then, because he's the one who's really miffed. Him and Charnock are a bit miffed at the minute, but you can't play, you can't play everyone. So today's live com is against Colchester United, who sit just, well, in eighth, just below the playoffs. So they've got a lot to play for. They're at home. They're trying to get back into that promotion hunt. Uh, at, they play at the Western Homes Community Stadium. And their manager is someone, I apologise, I've never heard of him. Darren Way, but I'll be honest with you, I think he's probably one of the better managers in this league. Right, here's the match preview. Um, we're inconsistent, they're inconsistent. We are favourites, which I'm happy about. Um, playing in the AC Milan kit as well, which I'm happy about. Ah, I'm not 100% in this, because if you, you've seen the form, haven't you? And it is a bit, it's a bit all over, really. Here we are on the lineup screen, and um, they're playing a the standard 4-4-2. I've got pre I'm pretty happy with this team. I mean, Dalton's not always making the first team anymore, but he usually makes appearance at least every game. Um, that's my standard team now. I'd, be, I'd say that's my number one team. They're all fit, raring to go. Right, we're in the changing rooms, and again, black seats. Would it really be that bad for them to just put a little thing into the programming to change the colour of them seats? Would it be? It wouldn't be that bad, would it? Anyway. It just annoys me. Right, I'm going to be assertive. I expect nothing but a win. That's how simple. That's how simple I'm keeping it. No greens, but I don't care. You know what I want. Go and deliver. Right, coming out of the tunnel. I do like this kit. This is Manchester Central's actual away kit. They're playing an AC Milan style kit. Right, they're on the attack quite early on. They've got an header and it's gone over. Right, McDonald with a throwing on the right hand side. Come on, boys. Let's get an early goal. Let's put this game. Let's put this game to bed. Don't put me through any more stress. I don't need it. I'm going to my mother-in-law's in a bit. I want to just chill out, you know what I mean? I don't want to be stressed out. I've got to drive to Huddersfield. What the hell was that? Yeah, that was the greatest shot from Foreman then, was it? Was did the chance watching that? Hopefully he was. Might put him off uh, trying to buy him. Here's Foreman on the ball. Look at him, 16 years old, charging forward. And he's done it again? But yeah, talking about the AC Milan kit, um, they did see that I've made a third kit. I've said this earlier on in the ser series, um, and I did it in the Bumblebee style in honour of the Bumblebee, which is Manchester's symbol. Um, and they said they're going to do it next year, bring it out. I, I will be getting one of them, I tell you. Come on, boys. The quality that, wasn't it? They should give me one for free. Right, Colchester on the attack again. Come on, lads. Come on, close him down. Step up. Did not. He threaded it through and he donkeyed that. 15 minutes in. We've had more chances and a touch more of the ball. But we've only had one shot on target and they've had no shots on target. It's not the greatest game, I'll be honest with you, but I, I tell you, one nils. They're not always the. I wish every live com I could, you could predict a live com, and it was a thrilling game that you get to watch that's full of excitement. But you cannot predict these things, even when you've got a bloody extended highlight sometimes, you just can't predict it. But here we go, they've got a free kick, don't score it. Whew. Close, all that, wasn't it? Apparently, I had that shot on target, I've not had a highlight for it, and it's there coming on to us again. Right, I need to talk to these boys because. You need to pick the game up. I'm demanding more from you, lads. There you go. Demand more. Come on! Hopefully we can go in not getting beat. Good tackle there from Platt. Um, I can give him a right ass kicking. 
uh, time. There's Tommy T. He's trying to spray it out wide to Foreman, but it's a bit wayward. I wonder, do any of you change the colour of your winter ball from yellow to anything else? Do you have any colour you want? <laughs> any colour? Um, I just prefer pink to yellow. But, oh man, I can see these scoring before we score. It's our time. Um, it's nil-nil. It's not the greatest game. I'd say they're now edging it. Definitely edging it. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be uh, aggressive. Let's give him an ass kicking. I'm far from pleased with what I just saw. There you go. Who's demotivated? Stephen Calker. Do you know what? Suck a freaking fat one, mate. Get a grip of yourself. I always wondered, and all that. I know the football managers used to have two players kick off to each other, didn't they? Has the rules changed? Why? Why does the only one person? It's always one person passing it back now. As I've got older, my love for the NFL has grown, and when the NFL season's on like it is now. I'll be honest, I watch way more NFL. Um, if you want for football manager of the game, I don't know how, how much I'd know about football anymore because I just, when I was younger, I had a season ticket, I'd, I'd get, I'd buy 442. I'd, I'd just, I'd immerse myself in it, but as I've got older, especially as a Man United fan, and these guys are getting £300,000 a week, and people like Virgil van Dijk are getting bought for 75 million quid. I'm losing, I am losing touch. And I said to my wife, my son, who's not even one yet, when he's a bit older, you know, when he's a bit older, I'm gonna take him to like Stockport County. Do you know what I mean? Just to experience a bit of grassroots football, buy a pie, have a drink, and watch guys who are earning the same amount of money as me. Right, here they go, Colchester on the attack. Come on, get a foot in. Oh, I've got a foot in. Come on, what's that? What is that? Wake up, boys. I mean, come on, wake up. Can I get a wake up? Show some passion, lads. Do some it. Because they're going to score. They're going to score. Yeah, I feel like it's just a matter of time. I'm going to have to make some changes because nothing's happening. There you go. I knew it. It was coming, wasn't it? We have been absolutely pants today. Now, let's make some changes, eh? Um, Tommy T has been shocking. Let's bring on the legend that is the Dalton. And then apart from that, I've got nothing on that bench that's screaming, I'll save the day. Here's Lynchy. He's trying to find. Oh Moran, Moran brought that down. Don't miss, don't miss. How did he miss that? How did he miss that? Right, sack it, overload. Nothing's happening, nothing's happening, overload. Let's go for it. Come on boys. Pause it. I'm gonna pause it because bloody hell that clock was going fast and I can't shout out anymore. He's found Moran, he's got it back to goal turns, gives it to Bird. Bird's trying to find Dalton. If there's anyone who saves it, it's Brett Dalton. We've got two subs here. Let's do you know what? I know they're only kids. But these boys aren't doing anything, are they? Um, and Lewis Jones, he's a striker, but he can play on the wide right. It's not going to happen, we've got five minutes to go. We need a bloody New Year's Eve miracle. That's what we need. But we could uh, be getting bummed right now on the counter. Come on, lads. Come on, steal the ball and let's boo yakka him. Boo yakka. I haven't said that for years. Where the hell has that just come from? Boo yakka. Here's Moran, one on one. Dean Moran's had about three chances one on one, hasn't he? They should have just slotted it home. And they've just got a penalty. Oh, God. This puts you in a great mood for the new year, doesn't it? Dickinson. Oh, how did. The ball went through the goalkeeper. We've had chances to score. And if, if you want to give a player the end of the game, if you want to give the player the ball one on the goalkeeper, someone like Dean freaking ran. And he ballooned him. Right, here we are in the changing rooms. Let's just get this over with. I'm going to be aggressive and say I'm far from pleased. Because you get the usual, don't you? They're all awesome here now, aren't they? All green and motivated after they've got beat. Right, so here's the league table. We're still top by a freaking some kind of miracle. Bristol Rovers won, so they've caught us up. We've got a point. There's a point in it. I mean, I'm moaning, but we have only lost three games, which isn't too bad. Do you know what I mean? It's not too bad. That's quite cool, that, isn't it? Ah. Do you know what? I played this game 20 years and I didn't know I could do that. Did you know you could do that? If you put it on the loss there, look, it tells you the three games I've lost. Episode 23. Um, let's play. Not as many games as last time. And I think we're going to have to come back for that, aren't we? So I'll play Wickham away. We'll play Yeovil at home, both in the league. Then we've got Birmingham in the FA Cup. That'll be tough. We'll see what happens with that. Um, then we've got Morecambe, Swindon, and then I think we've got to come back for Cambridge of a fourth away again so it's a massive game there we go that's the end of episode 22 yeah um we got beat you can't win everyone though can you and um, we've been on a good run i think like on wise for not getting beat um for quite a while i think i couldn't tell you what it is i have no idea but yeah hopefully even though we did get beat you still enjoyed watching me and my manchester central team so if you did don't forget to smash that like button if you're new to my channel feel free to subscribe because recently 
it is starting to grow really well and I'm really close now, I reckon in a week or so, I could be on 3,000 subscribers, so thank you to every single one of you for subbing, for liking, for commenting. So yeah, hopefully come back for the next one, massive game against Cambridge away, um, and yeah, hopefully have a good new year tonight, be safe, take care and I'll see you next time.